Now, before we go any further, I know he doesn't want us to make a big deal about it, so we won't. Um, and he always gets his present at Christmas time, so we don't have anything to give him. But we all know that um, Don, more than anybody, works tirelessly. He gave up golf for this. Oh. <laughs> he could have been some PGA star, and we could have seen him on the greens instead of Glenn Beck last weekend, or last week. How many of you saw Don? I'm
it's based and founded on the 912 values and principles. We were going to bring a, a the beautiful, mm, but we forgot. So no, <laughs> hopefully you all remember at least some of them. <laughs> anyway, these six up here with the little green star, we decided were uh, us sewing into the culture, into the community, into the political landscape, into education, as many ways as we could come up with. This is what we decided we really had been involved in. As a result of being involved in those different areas, because it's kind of like, well, the old saying, what goes around comes around, but it's more than that. When you sew something in, there's an opposite you know, reaction to every action that you have. Sewing and reaping is that. We call it sewing and reaping as Christians. And so we have sewn into these six areas. And the things that we're reaping are going to be ongoing, are going to be in-depth, and are going to be eventually very fruitful. It's going to take time, though. This isn't a short-term uh, commitment. It's not a short-term. It's going to get done in five or ten years. It's probably going to take decades to turn a lot of the culture around. Um, but that's part of what commitment covers. And so just uh, looking at one in particular, if you just look at education, we've been sewing into the education of young people that come to the Constitutional Champions Camps. And one of the things that we're reaping in that regard is they're hearing truth, they're being enlightened, and they will become voting population. As opposed to indoctrinating, we're teaching truth. We're teaching values and principles that they can live on and build upon and grow in. And so that's just one area that we felt like we wanted to share with you. But later on, we're going to uh, flesh out a little bit more of this. We'd like to be able to um, ask each and every one of you what you feel most drawn to, what area, or what areas have you already participated in, what do you think you might like to maybe get involved in. And because this isn't just a you know a one shot deal like like I was just saying, it's going to take time for us to really impact all these different areas. So really take a look at this later on when you can come up and, and really check it out. And then later on we'll try to flesh it out a little bit more and add a little bit more definition to it when we have time. <laughs> not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> Definitely not tonight. <laughs> You know, one of the reasons why we like the wheel was because it kind of represented movement. And ever since we first started meeting together, we've been moving. And there's been a lot of people moving in a, in a certain direction. I mean, you're either dying or you're moving forward, right? <laughs> so we have been moving forward. And we, um, several of you that have been involved with us for a while and, and are kind of aware of what's been going on in the city, you realize that there are some groups that have come and gone and come and gone, but 912 seems to be um, growing, steadily growing and moving forward and, did I, is that my phone? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Part of what we
pursuit of happiness, which I take it we're all still on board with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that kind of a fair assumption? <laughs> okay. So, um, you know, one of the things that I was also thinking of as we were going over this, and, and, and uh, I don't mean this to be a negative thing at all, but I felt like I really needed to say it, and one of the, the, one of the things that I'm, as I say it here, I realize that I'm speaking to the choir as I share this, but nevertheless, um, we have a core group of people, that being each one of you, who have really been involved, since you started, been involved in this group and have not only attended the meetings, but you are givers, you participate, you are get, you get involved, and you are, each one of you, to be highly, highly commended and applauded for that and thanked on behalf of our country for your commitment and um, your determination and your perseverance. I also know that we have hundreds of other people who are on our database, our mailing list, which is great. But as I was thinking about that, and I realize people have life circumstances and there are certain things that happen and they just cannot participate. Um, but on the other hand, what we have here, what we get here from being with each other and um, attending the meetings, per se, we get encouragement, and we get support, and we become more effective. And you can't get that just from being part of a database. I mean, I don't know of any of you that have ever been on, a, on just a database and, uh, and really felt like you got the same thing back as if um, you had actually been a participant. You know, and, um, and so the fact that you guys are here is very, very significant, and I don't, I don't want to to ever, ever underestimate the fact that this core group of people and others that continue to join us, it's very significant that you are part of that. And we thank you. We thank you for that commitment, not to not only doing what you're doing, but to be a part of these meetings as well. You know, we have, um, I attended a church here in town, and our pastor is highly, not, I don't want to say highly political, but he is very involved in what's going on. And he's a pulpit Freedom Sunday guy, and he's all for that, you know. I mean, and he's he's willing to put things on the line now. And we've seen some real changes in him as his passion starts to grow and his understanding starts to grow of, of what's at stake here. But and he kept saying to people, "You got to get involved. You got to get involved." But he had the courage to tell us last Sunday that for the first time in his life, and I believe he's probably about my age, thirty-two. <laughs> Thank you very much. 